the HMS Furious was one of the pioneering ships of British naval aviation. Originally laid down in 1915 as a large light cruiser mounting two 18-inch guns, the largest on any Royal Navy warship, Furious was built as part of Admiral John Fisher's plan to attack Germany's Baltic coast using shallow draft vessels. When this attack became unlikely, a new role was sought for the ship. This decision was to set the Furious on a course to set new standards in naval aviation. How so? Let's find out. Her large size and excellent speed made Furious an obvious choice to operate aircraft. In February 1917, her forward gun was replaced with a flying off-deck. Upon completion of these modifications, the Furious played a crucial role as a platform for naval aircraft trials. Remarkably, this included the very first landing of an airplane while underway. On the 2nd of August 1917, Squadron Commander Edwin Harris Dunning, a pilot serving with the Royal Naval Air Service, successfully landed a sop with pup on its deck. This endeavour was fraught with peril, and the risks associated were underscored during Dunning's third attempt to land on HMS Furious. Tragically, during this attempt his aircraft was caught by an adverse gust of wind, causing it to topple over the side of the ship, which led to Dunning's demise. As a result of Dunning's accident, a landing deck was built on the stern of the Furious in late 1917. This was not entirely successful because of the unpredictable wind currents caused by the superstructure amidships, but it was a significant advancement in its evolution into what we would recognize as a modern aircraft carrier. The ship would no longer need to stop and recover planes from the sea via crane. By 1918, Furious was again activated into active service. Tasked with mounting the first real carrier-based airstrike in history, when on the 19th of July 1918, seven of her sop with camels destroyed two Zeppelins and their sheds at Tonden in northern Germany. The importance of the success of this strike cannot be overstated. For now, the value of the aircraft carrier as indispensable assets in naval warfare was, without a doubt, established. Furious was laid up after the war, but was further converted to an aircraft carrier with a continuous flight deck between June 1921 and September 1925. After recommissioning in 1925, she spent much of the next several years conducting trials for practically every aircraft in the Royal Navy's Fleet Air Arm Inventory. And it was during this time where she achieved her last first for a carrier. The first carrier night landing was made by a Blackburn Dart on the 6th of May 1926 aboard Furious, proving she still had plenty to offer the Royal Navy. Once the new generation of armoured carriers like the Ark Royal were commissioned in the late 1930s, Furious was relegated to training duties. But during the early stages of the Second World War, HMS Furious was deployed in the North Atlantic hunting for German raiders and escorting convoys with a complement of 18 swordfish torpedo bombers. Its operational role continued up to the Norwegian campaign in early 1940, providing air support for British troops on the ground and engaging German shipping. Subsequently, HMS Furious was repurposed for aircraft ferry missions and also launched anti-shipping strikes in Norway post the withdrawal of British troops. The carrier's operations expanded to include ferrying aircraft to West Africa and Gibraltar in 1941, and following a refit in the United States, it participated in attacks on Vichy French airfields in Algeria during Operation Torch in November 1942. Throughout 1943, training and attacks on German targets in Norway, including the battleship Tirpitz, were the primary focus of HMS Furious. By September 1944, signs of aging on the ship were evident, leading to its placement in reserve, and eventually it was decommissioned in April 1945. The HMS Furious was not sold for scrap until 1948, marking the end of its service life. 